So hi, good morning class. Um, before anything else, I want to make sure if my microphone is working fine or am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So uh, how was your day, everyone? Are you good? How about you, ma'am? I'm good, ma'am. Okay, fine, so... Ma um, Marjorie, kindly please lead our prayer. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. Let's bow our head and feel the presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as this in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sins against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Marjorie. So, uh, Ms. Secretary, are there any absentees for today? What? No absentees, ma'am. Thank you, Ms. Rina Lin. So, so, formally start our lesson for today. I have here different examples and I want you to read it carefully and try to familiarize different question tags in each statement, okay? So, let's start. Um, Rina Lin, kindly read the first example. Okay, ma'am. Your name is Mika, isn't it? So, Miss Rina Lin, what do you think is the question tag in the first statement? Ma'am, uh, I think isn't it is the question tag in the sentence. Very good, Rina Lin. So, how about in the second sentence? What is the question tag there, Marjorie? Um, he will read this book, won't he? Mom, I think the question tag in the second statement is, won't he? Thank you. So for our last sentence, um, who wants to try? What do you think is the question tag in our last sentence? Mom. Yes, Rina Lin? Yes. Um, yesterday was so much fun, wasn't it? I think the question tag there is wasn't it yes you are all correct these are the common question tags that we can usually hear in our day-to-day -day conversation but as we continue our lesson you will encounter a lot of question tags your task is to analyze the different use of question tags and what question tags should we use in various statements okay so uh let's proceed shall we Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So, kindly read the examples. Who want to read? Um, yes, Marjorie. She will do it for us, won't she? They can't make it today, can they? You are free, aren't you? So, here are the another sets of statements with question tags. Notice how question tags are made. Where do you think the question tags are based from? Ma'am, I, I think question tags are made from the verb used in the statement itself. Like in the first sentence, she will do it for us, won't she? The question tag there is won't she and the verb used is will. That is the reason why I think question tags are made based on the verb used in the sentence. Yes, Serena Lee, it's a very good observation of yours. How about you guys? Do you have other observations and explanation, Marjorie? Ma'am, um, same with Rina Lynn. Uh, I also think that question tags are made based on the verbs used in the sentence. So, okay, I won't tell if you are wrong or you are right, but I will let you find out by yourself if your observation is right. Uh, I mean, uh, if, also, if your observation is right, it's okay. But if it's wrong, uh, it's still fine. Serve your observation and let's talk about it later. So let's proceed. Okay, ma'am. Let's talk about dummy auxiliaries. So class, do you have any idea about what dummy auxiliaries are? None, ma'am. None, ma'am. Okay, so here are the examples of dummy auxiliaries. Uh, statements with dummy auxiliaries. 
kindly read. Uh, who wants to read the first example? Um, can I, ma'am? Go, Marjorie. You never go to church, do you? Black and Continue, ma'am. Yes, please. You really want that kind of car, don't you? Uh, um, but ma'am, where are we going to use dummy auxiliaries? So class, always remember that we are going to use dummy auxiliaries um, when there is no given verb on the statement. Always remember that dummy auxiliaries has nothing to do with the semantic of the sentence. It's just there because we have to form a correct a correct question tag for a statement without a given verb. And yes, Marjorie, your and Marjorie and Rinaline, your observation is right. Question tags are made based on the verb use in a sentence. Take a look at these examples. This one. Um, you never go to church, do you? Or you really want that kind of card, don't you? Are there any given verbs in the sentence? Yes, yes ma'am. Uh, go yes, and, and, yes, ma'am. Um, go and want are verbs. Yes, Rinaline, go and want are verbs. But the question is, can we use those two verbs to form a question tags? If yes, can you show us how? And if not, why? Ma'am? Yes, is this Marjorie? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I okay. think... It not because we cannot form question tags using those two verbs. Um, because question tags are formed negatively and against the verb. So if you if we use those verbs, um, it will be grammatically incorrect, ma'am. I think. Rina Lin, you're right with the part that we cannot use those. Ah, sorry, it's Marjorie. You're right with the part that we cannot use those two verbs to form a question. That is why we use dummy auxiliaries do to form the right question tag. But Marjorie, how sure are you that question tags are formed negatively and against the verb? Are you sure that this is always negative? Mm, I don't know, ma'am. I'm not really sure. So, okay, let, let's see. Again, as what I've said earlier, I'm not going to tell you if your observation is right or wrong. You just have to find it out. So let's talk about negative affirmative guidelines. Um, kindly read the examples, Miss Rinaline. All right, ma'am. She will be here before the program starts, won't she? I can't really trust you, can I? Um, can you share your observation about this on about negative affirmative gui guidelines on these two statements? Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, based on the examples here, I think if the given verbs are positive, we should um, use a negative question tag, I think. And if the word used is negative, we should use positive question tags. That is why in the first sentence, the question tag there is won't she because the verb is will. The negative of will is won't, right? So, yeah. Uh, in the second sentence, the given verb is can't. So, question is can. That is how negative affirmative guidelines work. Is it correct, ma'am? Yes, Rina Lin, you're correct. So, uh, Marjorie, can you give us an example of a statement using negative affirmative guidelines? Ah, yes, ma'am. Wait for a while. Okay, okay. She's coming tomorrow, isn't she? So I use is as the auxiliary verb and the sentence in the sentence and isn't in question tag because the statement is affirmative. That is why I use negative question tag, ma'am. Correct. How about um, you, Rinaline, again? Give it a try and try to use um, Marjorie's example but in another way. All right, ma'am. Um, she's not coming tomorrow, is she? 
So I used an affirmative question tag because that statement is negative. All right, and I'm glad you're all learning and participating. Uh, in, uh, in our next slide, we'll use a new question tag in a sentence. Mm, kindly please read. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that one. Pick that up, will you? So based on the example, can you give us a new statement using will and question tag? Uh, all right, ma'am. Um, shut up, will you? So we should use will as a question tag if we're giving commands. So thank you, Rinaline. How about the most common line that we usually hear in a TV show or a movie? Are you familiar with let's go, shall we? Or uh, let's dance, shall we? Can you give us an example like this too? Yes. Um, um, yes, ma'am. Can I? Yes. Let's do our assignments, shall we? Yes. Oh, so how about you, Rinaline? Can you give us an example? Mm, let's make some lunch together, shall we? Good. Now, um, Marjorie, what have you observed by the two given examples and another two statements given by your classmates? Now, may I try? Go ahead, Marjorie. I is this Rina Lim? Yes, ma'am, Rina. Um, um, if you use let us in the statement, we should use shall we? Uh, shall we in question tag? Am I right, ma'am? Yes, Rina Lim, you're right. Now let's talk about other question tags. Have you ever heard other question tags aside from what we have discussed earlier? Um, no, no, uh, ma'am. None. So, how about in it? Does in it sound familiar to you? Maybe and maybe not. Because in it are usually used by native speakers and they are using it in every statement they want. But it's also considered as informal and ungrammatically correct. Like this one. Susie's coming to the party tonight, in it. So, how can we make it grammatically correct and formal? What question tag should we use? Can um, I try, Mom? Go, Marjorie. Mom, I think to make it formal and grammatically correct, we should use isn't it, isn't she instead of in it. Since the statement is affirmative, we should use a negative tag. So correct. It seems like you're ready for our, for our, uh, uh, for our activity today. But before we proceed to that, we should also talk about the common problems using question tag. And here they are. The first problem, what do you think is the meaning of the number one problem? Students get locked into single question tags. Kindly please read the example and share your thoughts. Yes, ma'am. Um, first example, we'll meet tomorrow, isn't it? He, second, he won't have any problem with his new school, isn't it? So, um, uh, I think the number one talks about the repetition of one question tag. So, we tend to use the same question and different statements, especially those common tags that we usually hear in a day-to-day -day conversation like, isn't it? We have to familiarize ourselves with different question tags so that we won't commit this mistake again. Yes, Rina Lin. So how about the second one? Kindly read and explain, Marjorie. Ah, yes, ma'am. Um, the next one, avoiding dummy auxiliaries. They cook a meal, wasn't they? Um, Mom, I think in the second problem says that we usually avoid dummy auxiliaries since we are not familiar with them. We ended up using wrong question tag in a statement since we don't know how to use dummy auxiliaries, ma'am. Yes, um, that's good. So how about the last? Who wants to try? Yes, ma'am. So this is about the mismatching verb. Example, she was lying, didn't she? 
So, since the usual verb we know and familiar to us is the verb defined as action word, we are just focused in, you know, that kind of verb. But in question tags, we have to be familiar with auxiliary verbs so that we can use the right question tag in a statement. Oh. Right? Your observations are very good. I know that you're ready with our... Um activity so um our activity for today is just simple all you have to do is to make a statement with question tags based on the photo and the slide are you ready yes, yes ma'am ma it will be a graded oral recitation if you have an answer kindly please unmute your microphone or raise your hand or call for my attention so that i can call your name and share your answer in the class let's start um See the photo attached. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Imagine that you're eating with them. Now your task is to make a statement so that you can start a conversation with them based on the photo. I'll give you five minutes to think for an answer. And if you want to answer, just call for my attention. Your five minutes starts now. Do you have any question? Ma'am?
Are you done, guys? Yes, ma'am. I'm finished, ma'am. So, who wants to answer first? Share your um, statement. I'll go first, ma'am. Can I, ma'am? Uh, I think so, uh, I can um make a question here like this one your mom is really good at cooking isn't she yes you're really so you're you're pertaining to uh their mom's cooking skill right so yes how about marjorie what's your answer marjorie are you there Yes, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Yes, what's your answer? Um, based on the picture, ma'am, their main dish is fish. So I can start a conversation with them by saying, you really love fish in your main dish, don't you? Yes, that's right. Um, okay, uh, another example or answer? Hmm... Um... Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. I this one. Since uh, the baby there, <laughs> the baby girl there, um, has a printed dog on her. I don't know what they call that. A so bib. Would, what's that, ma'am? Bib. We call that a bib. Oh, it's a bib. bib. Yeah. Oh, all right. So, um, this I think would be right. It seems like your baby sister loves dogs, doesn't she? Yes, good good observation again, Miss Rinaline. Another answer, Miss Rubio. Um yes, ma'am. Since the boy in in the green shirt is the only boy in in the family except to their father, um I think I can say that Oh, so you're the only boy among your siblings, aren't you? Okay, I think that's good enough. I graded you. Uh, I give. I have given you a fair grade. Thank you for uh, participating for to, for our today's lessons. Uh, do you have any clarification or question about our lesson for today? None, ma'am. It's all clear. Man, mom. Okay, so if none, let's call it a day. Thank you Thank for you, attending class. See you next week. Thank you, mom. Thank you, mom. See you.